dear students we have been discussing different problems on calculation of eva today we are discussing also one more problem this is the problem model following information is given for three companies which are identical except their capital structure that is they are similar in so many aspects because total capital invested is 1 lakh and uh, debt equity ratio will be different then cost of equity cost of debt taxation rate all these are different but ebit will be same and also the tax rate is same so we are asked with calculate the weighted average cost of capital for each company calculate the economic value added for each company and based on eva which company would you consider the best investment this is the question so we are moving through the stages firstly we are asked with calculation of weighted average cost of capital these are the details of three companies orange grape apple these are the three companies and we are given with these details so for calculating weighted average cost of capital we need the details debt equity ratio 80 percentage 50 percentage and 20 percentage number of shares outstanding pre-tax cost of debt is given so for calculating weighted average we have to consider after tax cost of debt that is 16 percentage into 1 minus tax rate should be taken then cost of equity is given then ebit net income and tax rate is given okay so we are moving through the first area calculation of weighted average cost of capital is equal to cost of debt into 1 minus t into debt weight weightage the proportion of debt capital plus cost of equity into equity weightage so in case of orange company cost of debt is 16 percentage and tax rate in all the cases are 35 percentage so 16 percentage into 1 minus 0.35 into the debt equity ratio is 80 percentage so debt is 80 percentage and equity is 20 percentage so we will multiply with 0 0.80 and cost of equity is 60 26 percentage and equity weightage is 20 percentage 0 0.20 so in case of orange the weighted average cost of capital is 13.52 in case of company grape it is 15.23 and in case of apple it is 17.95 so you write down the question in your notebook and also write down the solution then secondly calculation of eva we know eva is equal to nfat minus weighted average cost of capital into invested capital we have already calculated weighted average cost it should be multiplied with invested amount of capital to get to the amount of cost of capital then it is deducted from NOPAT so NOPAT is equal to EBIT into 1 minus T EBIT is given it is 25 for 3 companies and tax rate is 35 percentage it is also similar to all the companies so NOPAT is equal to 25,000 into 1 minus 0.35 that is 25,000 into 65 percentage it is 16,250 it is similar to all the companies NOPAT is same the next for calculating EVA we have already calculated the weighted average cost of capital then eva is equal to nopat minus weighted average cost of capital into invested capital the amount of investment it is also same to all the companies so in case of company orange eva is equal to nopat 16250 minus weighted average cost 0 0.1352 
into invested capital 1 lakh. So 16,250 minus 13.520. In case of company grape, it is 16,250 minus 15.225. In case of company Apple, it is 16,250 minus 17,950. So, the EVA of orange company is highest, that is 2730. Second position is company Grape, that is 1020. In case of company Apple, it is a negative figure, that is minus 1700. So, we are asked that based on EVO, which company is better, we can suggest that company Orange is having first position, then company Grape and lastly company Apple. Company Apple is not suggested because it is having negative EVA. So, we have gone through different problems. You should be very proficient and thorough with the calculation of EVA. We are stopping the calculation with this problem. Then now we are moving to some theories related to EVA that is advantages of EVA. An EVA system helps managers to make better investment decisions. So it is possible to take better investment decision based on EVA. We can select an investment opportunity with the highest amount of EVA. Secondly, EVA is a tool which helps to focus managers attention on impact of their decisions in increasing the shareholders wealth. They can identify whether their decision is positive impact or it is creating a negative impact on finance. Thirdly, EVA can be used as a basis for valuation of goodwill, valuation of shares, etc. Then it consider long term and short term benefits for the company. This is another advantage. Then EVA is an effective measure of quality of managerial decisions and a reliable indicator of companies value growth in the future the next constant positive eva values over time will increase the company value while the negative eva values might decrease the company's value that is constant right positive eva kittanengil adin artham company adin value increase cheyunnana negative aanengil namukku ariyam value decrease cheyunnu angane oru measure right eva use cheyavunnadanu and also we are discussing the limitations of EVA inadequate to assess progress of the company. EVA in the original company the progress lay samaya samaya samayangal return consider jayinand pakshe progress improvement it is not measured with the help of EVA. Secondly performance is measured using techniques other than EVA also. That is, EVA matra malla ur company ida performance measure evaluation ubhi kanda the. Padu onda thene performance can be measured using other tools also. The next it is not suitable during inflation because we do not consider inflation rate in the calculation. We are simply considering our NOPAT cost of capital and amount of capital. That is all. It does not consider inflation so it is not suitable during inflation period these are regarding eva calculation we are stopping our discussion on eva with this class okay thank you thank you very much